What if I told you, uh, take this back, part of our Forgotten Cure series, what if I told you there is potential cure for multiple sclerosis rolling around out there in the scientific community which has never made the news. Meanwhile, as people are taking medications, glutocorticoids, which have very little impact on stopping the disease, this treatment has gone unnoticed. Well, what happened is University of Wisconsin-Madison researchers, and this data is published in the Journal of Neuroimmunology, 28th September 2013. Notice for the longest period of time that there was always a connection between vitamin D and multiple sclerosis. Now before you go on and think this is a vitamin kick thing, it's a little bit of a twist. What the researchers decided to do is they decided to look at injecting vitamin D, a form of vitamin D called calcitriol, which is a biologically active form of the vitamin. And what happened next surprised the researchers. Initially what they did is they, they compared the calcitriol, the injectable vitamin D, to glucocorticoids. And they found out from one injection, these are from animals that had an event of MS, that there was a nine day remission in 92% of the animals injected with the biologically active vitamin D. Compared to the typical medication, glucocorticoids, which only had a six day remission and only 58% of the animals responded. Then they wanted to try a, to boost it up a little bit more. What happens if we injected the vitamin D on a regular basis? This is what occurred. In their words, they said, all the animals just got better and better. And the longer we watched them, the more neurological function they regained. Quote, biochemistry professor Colleen Hayes, who led the study. And so, the researchers being concerned on top of that about the side effects of calcitriol being injected on a regular basis, they decided to just take a little bit of a side road. And this is what they called the third regimen. And the third regimen, they did this. They took a single dose of calcitriol, vitamin D, then followed it with a typical supplement form of vitamin D you find on any grocery store shelf. This is what happened. It was this one-two punch of the injection and the supplement was a runaway success. 100% of the animals responded. Not only responding by less episodes, they said halted and even reversed the course of disease in animal models, which is unbelievable for multiple sclerosis. His hypothesis, or her hypothesis I should say, is they believe that calcitriol may cause the autoimmune cells attacking the nerve cells myelin coating to die, while the vitamin D prevents the new autoimmune cells from taking their place. So the moral of the, moral of the story is this. If you're already taking medications which you know is an end game, talk to your medical practitioner or your medical doctor. I'll post the journal study at the bottom of the video so you can easily reference it to your medical professional and say, hey, I got this disease, the medication is doing nothing except maybe slowing it down a little bit and reducing the episodes down marginally. Why don't I try this? It's got very little side effects. In fact, you probably got none if you're only doing one injection of vitamin D and taking the supplements. Or I should say your safety margin is incredible. And give it a shot. This is a case where you have to take your health into your own hand. Again, a potential cure. The only we're going to find out is we bring it to human trials or if you decide to take your health into your own hands, give it a shot yourself. No pun intended. Again, biologically active calcitriol followed by vitamin D supplements. Get a hold of your doctor, talk to them about it, see what you can do. Thank you. It's a gotten cure series. Once again, Ralph Turchiano. Thank you.